on to me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Blur Mob, your hub for all things black and nerdy. I'm your host, Foot, joined by my two co-hosts, Ryan and Antoine. And we are bringing you guys this video to give you our fall 2024 anime watch list. So we're going to be telling you guys what we're watching or what we plan to watch for the fall 2024 season. Um, hopefully you guys get some recommendations out of this or hopefully you are watching the same anime we are. Let us know how you've been feeling about it thus far. So, I, I want to start this with Ryan because Ryan watched like 16 anime. <laughs> so, let's start with the one whose list I know is going to be full. And then mm -hmm. we'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm watching that too. Oh, yeah, I'm watching. Should I watch that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I Here's the thing I, this sucks. It sucks because. It's some good anime dropping, and I did this in the what? What was two seasons ago? What come before summer? Spring? I was doing the same thing in the spring, and I was watching like six animes, and I got caught off guard. But for the fall 2024 anime season, going from the bottom, I'm watching Shangri-La Frontier Season 2. I think it airs tomorrow, the 13th. Mm -hmm. Blue Exorcist Beyond the Snow Saga, which started off good. I've watched the first episode, and it's pretty solid. Oh, Baroni okay. Kenshin Season 2, because Season 1, even though, albeit it was kind of slow, I enjoyed it. Sword Art Online, Alternative Gun Gale Online Season 2. Did not know this was getting a Season 2, but I love Sword Art Online. Number two, Don the Don. Very edgy and creepy. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. interesting. And random. Nice intro. Same as the, I think the same artist behind the Mashal intro made this yeah. one. Real fire intro. And number one, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Part 3. Y'all know I'm watching it. I love Bleach. It's it's mm. going hard. I just watched season episode two today of the new season. Really great. That's my anime season watch list. Out of that list, my three are Shangri-La Frontier. Forgot that was coming back. I knew it was coming back, but I mm -hmm. was like, when you said it, I was like, oh yeah, Shangri-La mm -hmm. is on my list. Um, Don da Don. Crazy. Random, out that first episode was wild. Mm -hmm. A lot, but I love the intro. It's on my playlist. I've played it so much that it's, not, it's not, Yeah, it's now on my own repeat playlist on Spotify. It will be in my Spotify rap. It will. <laughs> it was fire. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I, it's I, it, caught, it caught me off guard at first, but then I heard it again. I was like, "Wait!" Yeah, because they came in there <laughs> rapping. They remember? I they, was like, "Yeah, they was, rapping." When it started, that don 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 don. I was like, "What's going on?" <laughs> and they had the faces when the folks was like in the intro. I was like, "Okay, this is stylistic. I got it." Nice. Okay, Marshall. I'm ready mm. for them. I this seems like this is gonna be an anime that. The first couple episodes is going to be like an adjustment period, getting introduced to everybody, the situation, what's going on. And when mm -hmm. we finally hit the fan, shit's going to hit the fan. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm waiting for. Um, and my third one is what just happened? My brain just went blank. <laughs> your say, your, third. say your list again. <laughs> I got Bleach, Shangri-La, Dun Dun Dun, Blue Exorcist, Roni Kitchens, and um, and um, Roni. Oh shit! Shoot! Shoot! Dang! I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. My. Oh, that's what happened. My three wasn't on your list. I'm watching Uzumaki. Ryan. Ryan. Two. I need to go back. I need to watch Uzumaki. Now, I will say this about U Uzumaki. It is not as creepy as that trailer made it. It's mm. actually funny as hell to me. Mm -hmm. It's actually funny as hell. Like, there are moments, I did have moments when I was like, whoa, what? Mm -hmm. Like, overall, <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm going to add I, it to my watch list. I'm not, not going to leave you hanging. I just don't know if it's just my sense of humor is like twisted and flipped it, but that's some, fun, <laughs> that's some funny, that's some funny shit. Like, I, we can talk about this on the back end, but I have been seeing like the discourse with like the animation quality dropping between the episodes and the whole. Um, there seems to be like an animation like thing going on with Max, which we already knew about, but that seems to be affecting the series in certain aspects. But 
I'm rolling with it. I'm ready okay. for the next episode. Okay. Uh, all What's right. your watch list, Antoine? All right. So I do plan to start the Uzumaki show too. Um, just because Fook kind of recommended it to me. She said it's not all bad. So it's I, I'm going to start it. I'm going to start that it. That trailer, that trailer that me and Ron watch is literally the first episode. Okay. And okay. that always happens. That always happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to pick that up. I, I, I do want to start that. Um, I'm watching Dandara, like you guys said. That's kind of it's been a wild start, but I like it weirdly enough. Episode two was good to me too, honestly. I because I, I can yeah. I can see that there the adjustment period. I don't think it's going to take that long for me, honestly. I was like, I, I kind of like this. This is not bad, you know. It's different. It's a lot going on, but it's not bad. Um, so I'm definitely going to be watching that. Um, Ryan just added another one to my list because I did not even realize I'm going to be watching Blue Exorcist too. Um, you said the first episode was already out. Yep, the second one might be dropping today or tomorrow. I need to go watch that, yeah. And number one on my list, Dragon Ball Daima, of course. I watched the first episode on Friday. I am very excited for this. So what's it about? Please describe to me what Daima's about. So, um, I guess this is just some... Didn't I say it was supposed to be, like, before the Kid Buu saga? I read something Actually, no, it's, it's, no, it's not. It's, um, I think it's after everything that has taken place in Super. So when it first starts out... It kind of um, they do a recap. Not a, it's not a recap, but the villains, the people who turned them into kids, they're kind of recapping over some of the things that happened in the um, Boo Saga. They're like, oh, our demon de- demon king Deborah died, and he was the, he was over the demon um, demon world demon realm, and so the demons they're like, okay, well we need to find out what we're gonna do. Basically, these guys just beat the demon uh, king Deborah. We we want to make sure they don't come to the demon realm and try to take over. So we got this entirely new realm. And they kind of like introduce some new things, like we never knew some new lore that we knew, never knew about. Um, and so they kind of just set up the premise so far in episode one. Um, okay. But I think it's going to be interesting. Like I said, it's, gonna, it's it's a new realm that we've never really explored that much about. We've known about it, but they never dived into it. So I think it's going to be pretty so interesting. It's, so it's post Boo Saga pre Super because Super's still going on the manga at least. Ain't it? Ain't a Kira uh, Toriyama's kid or assistant writing it or something? Um, I don't think. Th- I, I don't know if they're still going with that. Um, they're still going. I, with I know they did. I, they said I, a new chapter was dropping mm, of something. I I think I don't know how far they've gotten with that. The last thing I I remember is I forget the guy's name with the the horns and all that. I don't know how far they've gotten after that. Um, I'll have to check on that. But yeah, because there's a whole it's, arc after where Super the anime ended, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, okay. They got a couple arcs after that actually. Um, huh. but. It's either like right after Z happened, or it's either between Z and Super, or just some point of Super after all the hosts. Actually, it's after Super because they said they just got the world back, and at the end of Super, all the universes got destroyed and all that type of stuff. And I, so I think they, I think it's after Super. I'm gonna have to confirm that. No, but yeah, it, it it does seem like it's gonna be pretty interesting. They're they're taking a different direction on this, um, introducing some new lore. I'm I'm excited for it. Okay. Because huh. we watch, me and Ryan watched the trailer and we didn't really know how to feel about it. I one, also did not know how to feel about it. One, given the fact that I haven't, I'm not like a Dragon Ball Z watcher, mm-hmm. but I wanted to watch the trailer just to see if this is, would this be the thing to get me to watch a little bit mm-hmm. of Dragon Ball? And mm-hmm. we came to the conclusion and we were like, we just gonna let Anton watch this and let us know how he feel about it. Yeah, I feel that. I, I felt the same way when I watched the uh, trailer because I was like, "Why they turning? Why they turning into kids? Why are we doing this?" But yeah, because they did that in GT, and that's why I was like, "Why don't y'all just bring GT back and give it a reanimation?" A lot of people do not like GT. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> not, it's <laughs> not canon, uh, <laughs> so they're not going go down that route. <laughs> I saw somewhere, and I don't know how legit it was, it was a YouTuber, where they said GT just counts as a separate universe, but it is yeah. technically canon. I don't know how you want to consider that. It's they they they're 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 not going down that road again. I, I guess you could say it's a different universe. It's a, but it's a not, new road. <laughs> they're not going down that road again. They're, Super Saiyan 4 just does not exist in the main main timeline. Okay. That's one of the. Oh, the fans don't like it. Call it an alternate oh. universe. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, 
So. I'm sorry, bro. I'm finna piss off some DBZ fans. Sorry, Sage, if you're watching. I feel like Super Saiyan 4, especially Gogeta, is one of the best transformations in Dragon Ball. It just looks the coolest. I'm sorry. It, it definitely... Everybody still look. I think everybody... A lot of people still love the transformations. Like, they still appear in the games and stuff. Still like that. You can't... Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, like you said, just said, it's... Everybody wanted that when we were young. Everybody was curious about what comes after Super Saiyan 3. So I think they dived into that. That uh, They went down that road and... Maybe it's just people just didn't like it. So, <laughs> but we like the transformations, though. <laughs> so, we. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, to bring it back full circle, you guys will be getting a mob review from Antoine on how he felt about Dragon Ball <laughs> I would definitely recommend people get into Shangri La. That's a fun time. Shangri La is, is a fun time. Mm-hmm. If you just want something fun to watch, Shangri La is a fun time. Yeah, and I, I feel like Shangri-La, like, kind of in another episode we were doing, we are just talking about some of the animes we love and what makes them fun. Shangri-La has that vibe where it's like you can turn your brain off, mm-hmm. just enjoy it. The main character's kind of funny. You got the supporting cast. They're all nice and vibrant. You just turn your brain off and enjoy some good animation, some good there's fights not, inside of a video game. Right, there's not a big, complicated power system to understand, even though it's a video game. Like, everything is pretty much straightforward. So, yeah. I, I my main recommendation for this fall anime season would be Shangri La. A main recommendation? I want to get more opinions on Don to Don because I don't know how to feel about it. I just don't like. I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. Like that. Yeah. Both of y'all watched episode two already, or just I've, Antoine? I've, no, I've seen it. Well, that little cool transformation where the half mask is on, I was like, okay, yeah. itch. Your I voice changed. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's getting edgy. Like the aliens versus the spirituality, and they're saying like yeah. the ghost and the are them are like kind of the same thing or whatever. The bananas. Like, the bananas. It's just like, weird. It's, it's weird. It's, like, to, me, to me, I'm hooked in. And some, and when I've met like adjustment period, I think they're just setting up all of the elements. Cause like the first episode, we're setting up how they meet we're setting up the fact that aliens and ghosts do exist and we're Mm -hmm. setting up that now okarun is fused with this spirit second episode so it's like setting up what happens after that we're seeing more into like momo's home life and like with the shrine situation and like more and now that these are might be like the same type entities instead of episode one we was thinking like they were separate so I feel like the adjustment period is like setting up all of those elements and then everything going after that is like, here's everything that we need you to know. Now, here's everything that we need you to know. And now we finna get like real deep into the plot and shit. I think mm-hmm. the re- reason I call it, it, it's weird in general. I mean, I, I don't think anybody's gonna deny that. But also like the route they take, like the, the, th- the thing that he's possessed by is an old granny spirit turbo, turbo granny, granny. Tanner, turbo, turbo granny, granny. If, if anybody else was dog. doing yeah if anybody else was doing some route like this they would pick some old spirit powerful spirit or something like that to take him over and that's how he just becomes super strong they chose a granny turbo like, granny <laughs> she's <laughs> not just any granny she's, she's turbo, turbo granny, granny. Oh, so, granny. Uh, it's yeah it's it's very interesting so it's different i i would want to hear some opinions from people who've read the manga because the so only bad. reason why Shangri-La is my top recommendation is because I've watched season one so I already exactly. know what, I already know what this is about but I would definitely want to hear from some people who's read the manga on Don Danan and how they feel about it and do they see this being like this definitely needs to be on your watch list from what I'm seeing through the Twitter grapevine is they're saying like not in my hero and JJK is coming to an end. One piece, not well, one piece is coming to an end, but not they're not including this. The newer gen shonen have all co- come to an end. They're saying that Don to Don, Sakamoto Days, mm-hmm. and what's the other one? What's the other one? Not that one that that Kira Kobashi or whatever. It's another one. I cannot think of it. That they're saying these ongoing manga will be like the next new big three. So it I, seems I, like I the manga fans are Sakamoto Days. Yeah. It seems like the manga fans are pedestalizing Don to Don, Sakamoto Days, and it's another one. I just got to find it. I just really got to find it. Okay. 
So and- Daima takes place right after Dragon Ball Z. I just had to confirm that. So it's like immediately after. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say something. Take your time, Pastor. All right. All right. Amen. Let them, let them use you. All right. Please. <laughs> let them use you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 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 but, so what's your what's your top recommendation for the fall run? Right now, it's between Bleach and Blue Exorcist. Like Blue Exorcist is is nowhere near done when it comes to this anime, and the manga's not done yet either. But like right now, one of the main one of the main one of the main supporting cast members got a new tutor. We're starting to see the Arch Knights, which is basically like the equivalent to Blue Exorcist version of like Hashira basically or go take captains from bleach like the elite soldiers of blue exorcism and um it seems like we may get a more of a focus on ren's older brother yukio in terms of um how he may be combating with the fact that he's a child of the devil as well and whether or not he has powers and how the illuminati have made their first move so it's looking really good it's looking really fun and i'm so glad that it's, they're still investing in blue exorcism the graphics and animation looks beautiful as well um Bleach, however, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's somebody just amazing. somebody messaged me the other day and they was like, "I just need you to watch watch Bleach," and I was like, "I started it. I just I need to. Too. I need to go back. I to just that. need to get to rolling." What happened was I was watching Bleach, whole bunch of other stuff start coming on. Mm-hmm. Then I wanted to watch Full Metal, and mm-hmm. then I need to go back to letting Bleach kind of like play in the background because it's dub. So I, that's something I can actually like watch at work and stuff. So. I just need to get back to it, to be honest. Uh oh! Now we watching Look. anime at work. Huh? Ooh, and y'all say I don't be working. Uh oh! <laughs> wow. wow! He said. Uh-oh. He said. Elsa said what? what? Uh oh! <laughs> that's what. That's what you do. Be doing on the clock, Mister Hobson. Okay. Wow. Woo. Uh-oh. Woo-woo. Uh-oh. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that, cut that out. <laughs> delete that. Delete that. <laughs> delete. Delete. <laughs> But in real life, look up Anime Filler List. I think it's AnimeFillerList.com. Skip the, skip the filler episodes of Bleach. You don't need to watch them and just enjoy it. It's one of those things. Everybody gets mad at the Fullbringer arc. I am one of them. But it is a great transitionary arc into what comes into the Thousand Year Blood War arc. But Bleach is really good, bro. I love Bleach. I feel like once y'all really get into it and y'all really get into the um Soul Society Invasion arc, mm-hmm. y'all are going to see why Bleach fans are Bleach fans. Okay. I, it's it's like I have no doubt that Bleach is good. Honestly, I just I, don't know. I just need to get there. I just need, I to, just need get, to get there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, what's, so what's your top recommendation for the fall, Antoine? It's gonna be on um, Dragon Ball Dino. Would you mm. Would you recommend people if me? who ain't watched Dragon Ball, would you recommend anybody starting there? I think, um, I, I don't think it would be a bad place to start. They do reference some, uh, like I said, it, it, it takes place after Dragon Ball Z. Um, and in the beginning, they kind of do a quick recap of what happened at the end of Dragon Ball Z. So, and I think with the general knowledge of what everybody knows about Dragon Ball Z, I don't think it would be a bad place to start. Um, there's some things that you might not catch, but um, I hopefully they do a good job of kind of filling it, filling those pieces in for people. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I would recommend it. I think it's it's also like kind of like Super. It's like Dragon Ball, their take on like newer gen in anime, uh, anime because you know Dragon Ball Z came out a long ass time ago. So I think this mm-hmm. is kind of like going to be another step into the realm for them. You know, this is our this is our best foot forward. So, mm-hmm. and. And I was going to say, Foop, did, did Antoine ever get you to watch Blue Exorcist, like the first half of season one or anything of that nature? I feel like I've watched a couple episodes of Blue Exorcist with Antoine. I feel like I have. Probably I have. It, if you ever want to try it, because it's a seasonal anime. It's not like an ongoing. Like it was season one, two, and then the Illuminati saga was three, right, Antoine? Now we're on season four. Mm-hmm. And I think it's like 24 episodes each. Like, sit down. Google first. You got to Google where to stop in season one because at some point it's no fil- it's it's not canon, and I don't know why they did it. They pulled a soul leader in like these other animes. I think it's like the halfway mark. Mm-hmm. Stop right there. Go to season two because like uh, us old Blue Exorcist fans, we watched season two like what's going on here, and we had to realize oh the second half of season one was nowhere in the manga. 
like mm-hmm. not at all fully made up so Y'all skip the made up part of jump to my, season two my anime watch list <laughs> what are friends for i told i think i'm gonna hop back on bleach now that <clears throat> my hero has ended for season seven i'm gonna slide in bleach into that slide oh the episode that aired yesterday slash today is the last episode <clears throat> For season seven, yeah. Okay, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. So, I don't know when we'll release this video, but our My Hero Season 7 mob review might be out. So, make sure you're checking for us. We recording for Tower of God? We can. Whenever it drops. Whenever it ends. We can. What about Fairy Tale? It depends on when they end with fairy tale, because I don't have too much to say about it right now. Like ongoing, ongoing stuff that we're watching right now: Tower of God, Fairy Tale, My Hero. Definitely, My Hero. I would like to talk about that definitely because we're getting towards the end. Um, Tower of God really just depends on how, to me, yeah, it really just depends on how they do this workshop battle uh, situation. And then fairy tale, I don't have too much to say about fairy tale right now. It's not that I'm not enjoying it because I am enjoying it i just don't know when this because i think it's going to be like 24 25 episodes i just don't know when they're going to stop exactly hmm it's a lot of good stuff though this anime season for the fall pretty stacked i know for there's yeah. some blue lock fans blue lock fans mm-hmm. who oh, yeah. are enjoying yeah. what's dropping there and yeah. i think there's another top hitter anime that came out can't remember which one it was let me see it's a good amount of stuff out this season, though. Yeah. Netflix Tomb Raider anime series is out. I watched the first episode. I it's mm. not impressed. I will, I will continue. Ooh. I will continue. Oh. Well, hopefully that gets better. I don't know if it was. I don't know what it was. I just didn't feel fully pulled in into the series, but I'm going to give it a couple more episodes. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. just going to be like episode one and Jen just like completely drop it. Gotcha. I'm definitely gonna give this a couple more episodes to see if you know, see where they they're going with this and see if, if it picks up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's our um that is our fall 2024 anime watch list. Let us know down in the comments what you're watching or if you have some recommendations that we didn't mention um in this video. And if you want to see more anime content from us get um more anime recommendations make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you like this video and hit those bell notifications so you can get notified when we drop our next video and with all that being said we're gonna shut this video down so thank you ryan and antoine for joining me on another episode of the blurred mob podcast shout out to everybody who watched or listened whether this is your first time or 50th time checking us out it is always appreciated make sure you check us out on our social media platforms so you can stay in the know of what's going on with the blurred mob we're on instagram at the blurred mob pod we're on twitter at the blurred mob yeah Blur Mob Pod, Instagram, Blur Mob, Instagram, and we're on Facebook and TikTok at the Blur Mob Podcast. And with all that being said, this is the mob checking out. Peace. Peace. And honestly, Full Metal, shoot, shout out to their female cast, period. Shout Man, out to Olivier, their female cast, Azumi, period. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Olivier, Azumi, Reza Hawkeye. I'll give it to my girl, Lust. Yep, Lust. Man, Lust? Yeah. yeah. yeah.